Hello to all traders and welcome back to another market review brought to you by Orbex. So we're looking at gold and dollar today. After gold in particular had a four day losing streak, it's actually slid away from its peak at 1950 that we saw in the middle of last week. Uh, so what does this mean with the Federal Interest Reserve rate coming up as well? Well, we're seeing now that it could be a case of a slight correction in gold because it is uh, up over 6.5% year on year and also 20% up since the bottom of when we saw it last time around in September. Remember, we saw this triple bottom confirm that there was going to be an upsurge and over $200 uh, movement in that respect. But now we're going to see what's going to happen in the next few trading sessions. Is there just a slight correction in gold? Uh, and Will there be another upturn? But this 1950 handle seems to be a very heavy resistance for the yellow metal as it just seems to be a little bit subdued, uh, just trading at the moment at the 1915 area. So $35 drop in the last few days. It isn't really a big significance because as I said uh, with every bull run there is a slight correction usually and then we get more of a signal if we're going to start moving higher or lower in that degree as well. So let's just move on to the charts at the moment and looking at gold straight away as I said on the daily chart there's four day losing streak and you know, like I said, we've up over 20% from the last time around where we saw this uh, triple bottom being confirmed. And we're just seeing now what's in store for uh, the yellow metal because, you know, as I said, a bull run, we haven't had many corrections on yet the yellow metal. We know we're moving up very, very nicely, uh, continuously on a daily chart. But now, as you can see here, just forming what you could say is a little bit of a flag uh, or could be a pennant. We'll have to wait and see. But, you know, this four day losing streak isn't really something to worry about for a lot of bulls. We're just seeing now if there's going to be a good buying uh, opportunity for this correction when it does set in and confirm. So we'll just see what's going to happen there. RSI not showing us too much in the way of divergences. There's always going to be a slight uh, move to the downside for the RSI after it was overbought for quite a while. Now we're moving down and will it just start moving a little bit higher? We'll have to wait and see. But most interestingly enough on the four hour chart, with the assistance of the Ichimoku cloud, we are now dipping into this cloud. I'll just remove these drawings so it's a little, little bit easier to see. We are now dipping into the cloud, which gives us an indication that prices will either start moving below the cloud and if they do do this, then we could have a fully fledged, uh, well, the start of a reversal in gold. But if we just get a bounce on the lower border where you can see the prices now, uh, then we might see another move to the upside and then a retest roughly about the 1950 handle. So the 1950 handle is a big psychological uh, event for a lot of economists and traders. Spoke to a few uh, traders in the last 24 hours saying the same thing, you know, 1950 is where the money is at in the next signal but we'll wait and see as i said it is actually a choppy market especially with the, not only the fed uh, coming up this week but we've got the non-farm payrolls as well on friday so this could really be a volatile week for gold and oil and speaking of uh, sorry not oil gold and the dollar and speaking of the dollar uh, we are now looking as I said, a little bit of a role reversal on the fact that we are seeing now a possible move to the upside for the dollar. Four day winning streak, obviously four day losing streak for gold, four day winning streak for uh, the dollar. But it could be short lived because, you know, this collapse that we've seen from the 114 handle from the back end of last year has now seen another uh, slide. But you know, we are getting a slight correction on the dollar. How far will it go? We'll probably have to look for intraday uh, levels for that because if we just move up a little bit higher uh, on the degree here, as you can see, very, very choppy price action in the last uh, few trading sessions. But uh, this recent peak that we're seeing uh, could be the fact that we are actually developing past the Ichimoku top border, which gives us the impetus that we could have another leg higher and then possibly see if we can get back to these previous peaks, roughly about the $103 area. Okay, we're trading just above the 102, so it's not really out of the question by the end of this week that we start picking up on the dollar. But obviously, the Federal Reserve is expected to cut back and loosen its monetary policy. Uh, we've got NFP figures that aren't supposedly supposedly overwhelming for the American economy. So it could be a fact that we could be plateauing now on the dollar and we'll see if we hit that $100 area before the end of Q1, quarter one. So we'll see what that ha has in store. So join me tomorrow for the next round of fundamentals and we'll see what the news and gossip is before the Federal Reserve interest rate decisions. So thank you very much for joining me and we'll speak again tomorrow. Bye for now.